and welcome to my very first Minecraft EDU tutorial for the Learning Zone, a world I created that supports and uh, is the next step in the tutorial world, which comes loaded with Minecraft EDU. The objectives of this world is to help teach students how to craft items from scratch, how to scaffold those items, so you go from simple items made out of wood, then stone, and then iron, and how to store them in a chest and a furnace and use a crafting table. So there are several zones in this world. Today's is part one where I will show you zone number one of crafting. Before students even use this world, I'm going to direct them to a website first that's going to support common core standards of informational text, reading informational text to find necessary facts to support learning. So students will be directed to Minecraft Wiki net and I'm in the crafting section and students are going to use the first day of this activity to create help sheets for themselves in order to remember how to craft different items and this also teaches them how to navigate through a website so if you go through the recipe list here I can see that there are basic recipes I need to load some of those students are going to first start creating wood planks out of wood then they're going to make sticks out of those wood planks and they're going to make a crafting table from those wood planks and then after that they're going to make a sign. The signs are not listed under the basic tools that's listed under miscellaneous so I'm going to see if students can figure out where to find that crafting recipe. It's going to take a little searching. If you scroll about two-thirds of the way down you'll see that a sign is made out of wood planks and a stick. Two rows of planks over one stick will yield three signs. So once students make a help sheet that has the necessary uh, recipes for each of the tools they're going to make, they'll then go into Minecraft EDU and start playing the game. I'm going to log in as a student so you can see exactly what a student would see if they were playing this world. So you enter the world in a uh, long alleyway that tells you welcome to the learning zone. I have closed off the uh, zones two and three so students cannot go any further unless they get permission and I provide them with a button. If you'll notice that each side has the exact same thing. We have 22 computers in our computer lab so students sitting at even numbered computers will work on the left and students working at odd numbered computers will work on the right and they should read all the signs it's going to tell them what to do. This zone will help them learn how to craft items and store them in a chest for future missions. So if I stroll into uh, the odd numbered zone, I see two giant cuboids, one made out of wood, one made out of stone that has some other materials on it, and the sign will tell me what I need to do. Use the wood to make planks, the planks to make sticks, and make a sign from those, and then I place them on a circle. So first thing I'm going to do is start mining away and there will be about 11 students, up to 11 students, all in the same area. So I wanted to make sure I had a section big enough for students to all share the resources, making sure that they're only taking what they need as part of digital citizenship. You'll notice also that there's some green circles on the ground. These are build allow areas so students can only dig on the areas that have these circles on them that's hopefully going to avoid students digging into the grass and start mining under the ground. All I need is about 10 to 12 uh, pieces of wood that should get me started. Once I have those, I should only take what I need, making sure I'm a good digital citizen and thinking of others. So I'm going to grab about 12 pieces of wood. And then once I have those, those pieces of wood, I can then go over to one of the sides that has a sign that tells me what I have to do and each side has the exact same sign. First I'm going to place a sign on a green circle with a crafting table, a chest, furnace. Inside the chest I'll put different pickaxes of materials as well as torches. So the first thing I need to do is look at my area here and go to my inventory and I'm going to need to turn my wood into planks. So you right click on the wood and then I start left clicking to convert those wood into planks and then if I take those planks if I stack four of them together I can make a crafting table. I also want to make sure I'm making some sticks. So I'm going to put one plank on top of another. That will give me some sticks. I think I need more than four of those. So I'm going to take a couple more. 21 on top of 21. Right clicking and left clicking is a little challenging for me. I'm sure students will run into those same issues. 
I think 12 sticks should be enough. So now I can get out of my inventory, try not to throw my blocks down, and I'm going to right click and place a crafting table onto my area. I can then make myself a sign. The day before, students made little recipe help sheets, so this will help them remember how to make these items. A sign is made with sticks over planks. Once I have that done, I can go out of my inventory, and then I can place a sign on the green circle. My name is Johnny. I'm just making up a name. If students are working in pairs, they can put both of their names on the sign and they can work together. So once I have a uh, crafting table, I can then start crafting a pickaxe. A pickaxe is made with three wood planks. A wood pickaxe is what I need to make first. Once I have a wood pickaxe, I can then start uh, going to the stone cuboid and grabbing some materials from there. This one has a mixture of coal, cobblestone, iron ore, and stone. So if I select item number two and make sure I have my pickaxe selected, I can see I can collect some coal. That's going to be used to make torches and also to uh, smelt iron ingots at a later time. I'm also going to grab some cobblestone, make sure I have at least four or five pieces of that. You'll notice that I cannot mine with my wood pickaxe on the iron ore. This axe is not strong enough, so this is part of the scaffolding process. The students are going to figure out that they need to craft uh, sturdier pickaxes in order to grab the iron, uh, iron ore inside of here. So right now I've got ten pieces. I'm going to make sure I grab a couple more. Okay, I've got some coal. I've got some stone. I can then go back to my crafting table. Here's my sign. And now I'm going to make myself a chest. To make a chest, I take uh, all of my wood planks and leave the center open because that's going to be the storage for my chest. That's where I'm going to place items. And then I'm going to make a stone pickaxe. Stone pickaxe is made with three pieces of cobblestone on top of two sticks. Now that I have a stone pickaxe, I can make some stuff. I also want to make some torches. So I can right click here. I've got 14 torches. That looks good. Keep throwing my items down by accident. I'm going to place my chest. And I'm also going to open up my chest. And I'm going to throw my torches in there for the time being. I'm going to put my old wood pickaxe in there. And I'm going to put my signs in there because I don't really need those materials right now. Next thing I want to do is go to my craft table and make myself a furnace. Furnace will let me uh, take some iron and smelt it into iron ingots. I can also burn some materials. A furnace is made with cobblestone around the side, just like a chest, except it's made out of stone. And once I have that down, I can place that somewhere. I will place my furnace in position number three. And here I have my materials. So now I can go grab some iron ore. So if I select my iron, my stone pickaxe, I can now go to the iron ore in this cuboid and I will be able to mine it. Iron ore is going to be helpful in order to help me make some ingots, which is going to allow me to make an iron pickaxe, which is one of the strongest materials that are in Minecraft, other than diamond. So I'm grabbing some iron ore. I'm only taking what I need. I'm still remembering my digital citizenship, making sure that I'm only grabbing the necessary items. So if I go to my furnace and I use coal as my fuel, and I use some of my iron ore as my material, you can see it starts smelting some iron ingots. It takes a little while, so you have to wait through this process. I need at least three iron ingots in order to make an iron pickaxe. There's ingot number two. And I'll wait one more time. Once I have ingot number three, and then I should be good to go. So hopefully students are learning how to work together through this process. They can help each other, they can support each other, they can work in pairs.
Now that I have iron ingots, I can go to my crafting table and I can make an iron pickaxe. Three pieces of ingot along the top, above two sticks. And now you can see that I have an iron pickaxe. And I'm going to put my other pickaxe back into my chest. I don't need a stone pickaxe anymore, but I have it just in case. So all I'm going to keep out is my iron pickaxe that I made all by myself. So now if I go back to here and I use my iron pickaxe, you'll see how much faster it is to go through stuff. Mining is quite quick, quite efficient. I'm not going to take more than what I need. And so that should be learning zone number one. I'm going to double check on my sign and make sure I have everything that it's required. I have a sign, I have a craft table, a chest, a furnace, I've made torches, I've made three different pickaxes. I put the pickaxes and torches in my chest. I'm going to double check that that's done correctly. Yes, I have a wood pickaxe, I have torches, I have a stone pickaxe, and I have some other extra materials. So that should be enough to get me out of zone number one, learning how to craft items. Once I do get there, I can then learn how to send a text message to my teacher, Mr. Solomon, and request a button before moving on. I am finished and am ready for zone number two. And that will be a future video. Thanks for watching.